Hey y'all, today's gonna be a What's Soul video and it starts right now. Alright guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also known as the Bearded Thug Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online to make YouTube videos. But like, this video is gonna be 20 What's Soul for me in the last couple of days on eBay. I'll try to tell you exactly how much you paid for the item and how long it took to sell on eBay. I do appreciate everybody that watches. If you are new to the channel, I basically buy stuff low and then sell for market value on places like eBay, Macari, and Facebook Marketplace. So these are only eBay sales. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. This first one right here is a Jim Shore Heartwood Creek, a prayer of thankfulness. 2006, got this for $2 at a yard sale a while back, probably about two months ago, and it did go for $20 plus shipping. I like picking up some Jim Shore stuff. It's always a good one to look out for. Some of this stuff doesn't sell as much as I thought it would, but uh, it still sells fairly well for me, usually about 20 to 30 bucks. Some a little bit lower, so just make sure you comp them out correctly. This one right here is a pre-owned August Smart Keypad. This goes to a Smart Lock, and it did go for $29, and the buyer did pay shipping on this. I picked up this, the lock, and then like some sort of other device that transferred information to the lock for $10. So I only got about $3.50 into this, and it did sell for $29, and the buyer did pay shipping, and it sold within two to three hours. The new Under Armour men's golf hat, green plaid, fitted. I got this for a dollar at a yard sale only a week ago, and it did sell for $15 plus shipping. That's pretty fast for a hat for me to sell. Usually hats do take about a month or two to sell for me. The Armstrong USA Flare Nut Crow Foot. That's what that uh, is, is called, that tool right there. It's called a crow's foot. And these were uh, the wrenches. They were 3 h drive only. And they did go for $28, and the buyer did pay shipping on this. I have a dollar into those, but they did take about six months to sell. I'm a big fan of selling remotes. This is an Emerson N9377 remote. They're not a whole bunch of money. Some remotes are worth a ton of money. Some remotes can sell for $100, like Bose, or I had like this little flip one that sold for like 80 bucks, I think. I can't really remember. But a lot of remotes for me only sell for 10 to 15 bucks free shipping. They're light. They go out first class, and I usually can get them for like very cheap. 10 cents to a quarter or at most you're going to spend a dollar on them at a um, Goodwill. But at a garage sale, you should be picking these up for super cheap, if not free. And this went for $9.99 free shipping, but did take a while to sell. This one right here is going to be a Titleist MB710 Forge Single 8 Iron. Had as a stiff flex on the thing about this one needs a, needs a grip. People always ask, can I still sell a golf club if it needs a grip? Yes, you can. Absolutely. This club usually should sell for about 30 bucks, but because it needs a grip, somebody's gonna have to take this grip off and re-grip it. So I sold it for $20 plus shipping. I got $3 into that at a goodwill. It did take a couple months to sell. These two right here, one person bought a travel pin from Alaska, and the other one bought a, and the same person bought a vintage bicycle uh, patch. And the patch I got actually in a jewelry box that I bought that I spent $15 on. And then the pin, I've been in the good on these pins for a really long time, but I bought them probably a year ago on a hat that had a ton of uh, pins on them. I took all the pins off, sold the hat, and then sold all the pins separately. So right there, you know, I don't have really anything into that stuff. $18 free shipping, and obviously that goes out at a three ounce rate. Craftsman Proto SK Sockets US. These are smaller sockets uh, all the way up into like a half inch. These right here have some condition issues, right? And, and cleaning smaller sockets is very difficult and very teeter, tedious. So what I did is that I kind of just lotted them all up. I have a ton of sockets. So I just been lotting them up in small groups like this. I have nothing into these at most, probably a dollar. I put them up on auction for 10 days and this one sold for $17.61 and the buyer did pay shipping. Got eight bids on this and it was a 10 day auction. So you can still, people always ask, you know, do you clean each one? No, not really. If they're a good brand or something like Snap-on, I would never do this with Snap-on tools sockets because the little ones go for $20 a piece. But these, even if I cleaned them up and, and the hours it was going to take to clean these up was not worth the money on these. So I just lot them all up, which you can do if you get them cheap enough and you can still make some money. And they go on a padded flat rate, easy to ship, easy to list. It's it's pretty good. Some Allen wrenches. Allen wrenches for me take forever. I've stopped picking up any type of hex key uh, unless they're like super big or something's different with them. But regular hex keys like this take forever. I've had these for over a year when I bought them probably 10 cents into them. They sold for $12 free shipping. I mean, they're made of metal. They're going to probably go out at an eight ounce rate because there's a, there's a few there. So just not a really good pickup to be honest with you, hex keys. This is a Chrisman putter. 
I remember I bought this out of a bag three months ago at a yard sale, got it for about a dollar. It has the original grip, it has an actual hickory shaft. This is a really good looking club. The hickory shaft is like almost flawless. The original grip is almost flawless. It's a really good looking club and they go for $45 plus shipping, so that's a pretty good sale. This is the other part of that. This is the lock part. It says untested. I'm not 100% sure if this thing was working. That's why I, I could test the keypad and I could test the other thing. So all you have to do is plug it in, hook it to your phone. This, for some reason, I couldn't test. I couldn't figure it out, but I did sell it uh, untested. Sold almost instantaneously for $35 plus shipping. It does come with the original packaging. It comes with the back plate and it comes with the thing that needs to work inside there. This one right here is a Hawaiian shirt I picked up only about two weeks ago, and uh, it was pretty good. You know, if you pick up Hawaiian shirts with good prints, they usually do sell pretty good. Picked it up for $4 at the Goodwill, sold within two weeks for $11.90, and the buyer did pay shipping on this one, so that's pretty good. This is the remote part. This is the bridge that goes to the other one. This sold, again, almost instantaneously, like within an hour. I have $3.50 into that, and this is the Wi-Fi bridge. And right there is the model number, the ACR1. And this stuff, it sells very fast. I mean, if you can find this stuff, definitely buy it, pick it up, comp it. They got barcodes, so you can scan it. I saw they had a really good sell-through rate, and I picked them up, so very happy with that pickup. This is a night billy club right-handed this is a seven wood firm flex uh, so the billy club is made by knight which isn't really a brand that i pick a lot pick up a lot for golf clubs but a seven wood firm flex i did pick it up for three dollars only sold for twelve dollars plus shipping probably had it for about six months now so you know i only made five bucks on it so probably not the best pickup on that one but uh they still will sell they just take a while and it's just one of those things not not i'm still learning golf clubs i do know a lot about golf clubs but uh that one wasn't the best pickup this is a pre-owned sears craftsman router table uh that right there is the model number it actually is stamped on the router table itself i only have a couple dollars into this it's been sitting for about six months and i did take the legs off and i put that in the description hopefully they read that because if you shipped it like this it was going to be super expensive to ship just a so oversized package very large looking table and uh, so i took the legs off wrapped it up obviously told that in the description and uh, so for 45 dollars plus shipping on that it still went fedex so it was um it was expensive to ship but not near as expensive if i didn't take it apart this one right here is a Polo Ralph Lauren cardigan sweater, Southwestern knit, women's size large. This was actually a viewer sale, so thank you so much to Noelle who uh, actually bought this. I thank you so much. This went out for $100 plus shipping, and I thank you for supporting me and the channel, and you got an awesome sweater, so thank you. This one are some Wilton Pewter 7-inch Salad Lunch Plates. Columbia PA USA. I put the Columbia PA because that's what's stamped on the back. I don't know anything about pewter. I don't know anything about plates. All I know is how to comp things out and I just wrote exactly what was on the back of the plate. I bought these probably about three months ago at a yard sale. I bought a whole bunch for like $20 and I have made hundreds and hundreds of dollars on these. These are kind of slow movers, but I'm almost out of them. So they do sell. And uh, these were smaller plates, only seven inches and they went out for 40 bucks plus shipping. And uh, like I said, I'm, I'm in the good on those, but when I bought those, I was less than a dollar into each piece. Clark's brown leather closed toe strap sandals hook and loop. Hook and loop is another word for Velcro. You can't use Velcro in the title if you didn't know. It will get uh, Vero'd immediately, taken down, they'll slap your hand and sometimes suspend you on uh, eBay. So use hook and loop. And it did go out for $10 plus shipping. Not a great buy on that one. Didn't only made like four bucks on it, but happy to see them go because I don't really pick up Clarks anymore uh, unless I compliment them, they have a really good sell through rate but usually I don't pick them up. This is a Pen Conflict 4000 working. It says read only because there were some scuff marks on this one. This is actually one of my personal reels. I'm selling off a couple to buy something that I really want, uh, a new pen reel. So I sold this one. So within two weeks for $75 plus shipping when I bought it, the crazy thing is I only spent $100 on it and I've had it for about three years. So pen reels, if they're good quality and you take care of them, the resale market is very high on these. So definitely uh, always comp out your pen reels. They work very, this one was in great working order. I always serviced my reels, always kept them nice and clean, but they were used. I mean, I go fishing a lot, so they were banged up a little bit, but as long as they're in working order, the resale is still there even if you buy them use them for three years and only sell them for $25 less. That's pretty good. This one here is a snap on 15 millimeter 
deep socket quarter inch. So again, a very small socket went out for $25 free shipping, three ounce rate on this one. So that's pretty good. But I always say these snap on quarter inch drive sockets it's a $20 bill all day long, no matter how you shake it. So it's a really good uh, thing to pick up our Snap-on uh, Impacts or their quarter-inch socket. So that's their smallest socket. So right there, that's 20 wood sold for me in the last couple of days. I do appreciate everybody that watches. I do these videos. So you go there, find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. Remember, if you're not subscribed, always consider to subscribe. Comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always catch you on the next one.